right, so the reason for these washers that I just made up is the center is pretty big. I have two of these. They have smaller centers, obviously. So I had to make that same size, half inch, or close to half inch. And the whole reason for that is because these bushings are so big, I needed a washer to go on it to uh, so the bolt doesn't pull through. And so it goes right on the cab. I dropped the washer, but go think that way or something. So yeah, that's all that was for. That's why I did all that. What I'm about to do, we'll try this at home. so bad just about where I need it too all right so we're under the cab now got a washer up top got the bolt in the front and the washer same on the other side on the front I got the washers on top on the back but for some odd reason I made I made uh or I got six and I need eight somehow miscalculated but I got the holes lined up so all I have to do is um put together two more washers or weld two more washers up bolt these guys tighten everything down and then we are ready to drop the engine in and put the trans in. I noticed that whenever I painted, this was up, obviously, so I didn't hit that with the paint real well. So I'm gonna go over that again. I'll have to hit that with some more paint. And yeah, it's coming together nicely. Everything, the paint's holding up underneath pretty good. Um, and then get all this freaking dirt and stuff swept out of here and I got some welds I gotta grind here and then we'll start wire wheeling again I might have to do something with that for the windshield have to make some plates and weld in there and other than that, get the cab board down and start working on the inside here and get the inside prepped for paint and get the, uh, the engine stuff dropped in. Like I said in the last video, I wanted to get the engine in and get some fuel pressure to the engine and actually get it fired up for the first time, the real first time, I guess with all the pressure to the carb and everything and see how she actually runs and then after that we'll have to paint some other things like uh i gotta paint the drive shaft and the steering shaft i gotta find a steering column for it i'm just gonna throw an automatic in it for now um I don't know if I'm going to throw a 350 turbo or a 700 R4 in it. I have both, and I have the flex plate for it, and I also have a flywheel. I just don't have a clutch to put the the standard transmission behind it. It's just a three-speed with a granny gear. I'd like to find a, a five-speed out of a newer truck and get in there. But, see how that goes, and that's about it for this episode. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.